one of the uh, other uh, releases uh, um, that have come out recently, as I mentioned, was the, the Slides API. So um, there, this isn't incorporated in Google Apps Script as a, um, a service or an advanced service. So it, it's actually quite easy to use uh, if you've used the Sheets API. So this is uh, the, the, the external API for Sheets. You'll probably recognize the, the workflows for it. So what I thought I would do is just give you um, a quick kind of demonstration of um, what you can do with the, the slides API and, and how to set it up. So I'm just going to share my screen. So you bear with me for a second. So there's um, a couple of use cases um, Google mentioned within their um, uh, product launch. So things like um, using templating um, or just uh, you know up updating key bits of text and information uh, in a slide deck. Um, you know, quickly and programmatically. So here I've got uh, uh, an, uh, a demonstration deck, and um, it's got two placeholders um, set up already. So we've got uh, a name placeholder here, and um, we just got a shape uh, placeholder up uh, in the, the top corner here. So what we're going to do is just run a script that is going to uh, make a copy of this um, presentation and then uh, it's gonna. Uh, we're gonna just update the name here, and uh, we're gonna uh, throw in a, a logo uh, in in this uh, uh, placeholder here. So um, I've prepared a script. Um, you can also view this on uh, my blog, and I'll share the scripts. Uh, I'll I'll share a link to that later. So um, a lot of this is actually made a lot easier thanks to. Spencer and uh, the magic of his um, uh, Google uh, uh, directory API, um, which basically um, generates libraries for, for all the, the Google APIs. Um, so uh, there's a couple of things to, to set up. So um, because this isn't a built-in service, we're, we're calling uh, uh, one of the libraries Spencer has created. So this is for the, the slides API. So usual sort of thing, we um, adding uh, the library, we can enter the code in there. I've already done that. Uh, for this example, I've actually renamed the, the identifier. So this is uh, an identifier that's used um, quite often in um, uh, Python versions of uh, the uh, Google client libraries. Uh, the reason I've done that is this is uh, actually an example that um, I've ported from Wesley Chun, who uh, works for Google, and uh, there's a blog post explaining that. So the last thing we need to do in terms of setup, having installed the library, is um, just uh, enable the library API uh, through the developer console. So again, if you haven't done this before, it's relatively straightforward, just a, a case of clicking on a couple of links. Um, so we're into uh, Google developer console, and so we can just uh, select the, the APIs we want to enable for our app script project. So I'm going to select the slides API. And um, I think, think Google have kind of hidden this button up here. I think it's it's easy to miss if you're uh, um, not used to this sort of thing. Uh, so we can now see that this is enabled. So I can just shut those down. And uh, I'm just going to quickly talk through some of the script. So um, we're just setting up uh, a couple of variables here. So these are basically going to be some of the, the search strings that uh, we're going to use just to search for uh, the, the image and the uh, demonstration template I showed. Obviously, there's lots of other ways of you gathering um, you know, uh, file IDs and passing file file IDs in your scripts. Um, this is the, the way Wesley done it, uh, had done it. So I, I thought I'd just um, uh, copy what he'd, he, the way he'd set up his code, just so people could see the, the differences between Python and um, Google Apps Script. So the, here's the first call. So this is because um, uh, we're using uh, uh, 
a, a library to, to access the, the slides API, we're going to pass in our token. So um, one of the nice things that um, I think it was Spencer spotted uh, or possibly Romain was if you're using Drive app or uh, sheet, Spreadsheets AP or sorry, Spreadsheets app within your project, then you can just use the tokens uh, that those generate and pass those into the um, uh, into the slides library. Um, so it's you know if you're using those, it's really easy to set up. So we're just passing those in um, with a function. So next couple of lines are kind of uh, fairly fairly standard stuff. So uh, we're just going to search for that um, uh, slides uh, API template demo, uh, and we're just going to make a copy of it and just grab the ID of that new copy. Um, the next thing we're going to do is, um, actually, what I might just do is if I just fire up the debugger, um, what you can actually see is um, how uh, the, the, the slide object is returned uh, from the API. This is actually quite a useful way if you're wanting You'll you'll see further in the code um, in terms of how we're passing updates to, to the slide deck. It, it's actually useful to to, to see how um, the slide is, you know, represented in uh, an object format. So you um, you can see the different page elements. Uh, so for example, let me just see if I can find one that I recognize. So. For example, we've got a, a rectangle here, and we've got the shape properties. So there's various, you know, information about you know the color and position. Um, so just going back to the code for a second. So all this part of the code is doing is actually looking for uh, our our rectangle. So all it's doing is looking for this shape object here, uh, and we're just holding that in the variable variable object. And uh, the next bit, so now that we, we know where we've got uh, our object, um, the next part is uh, we're going to get the, the image that we're going to use to, to replace the, uh, the, the, the rectangle. So we've got, we're just again uh, getting a file by a name uh, from, from Drive app. Um, one of the, the interesting things with the slides API, um, when you're um, incorporating images into uh, changes to slides, is it needs a, a public URL for that image. Um, so there are a couple of ways around this. I, I was a bit surprised that there wasn't native uh, Google Drive integration into this, so that you could just provide, um, you know, a, a, a file ID. Uh, instead of an image URL, but there are a couple of ways that you can get around this. So um, uh, I don't think these are um, documented, so they may disappear. But uh, one nice way is if you just get the download URL for, for the image, and you can actually append uh, an access token, which is our, um, our, uh, our, our script project um, of token. The end of that URL, and that basically gives a, t a temporary um, URL that um, the slides API can then use to pull the image into the, the slide. There's a, another way that you can do this, um, which is similar sort of idea. idea. Um, this one is using uh, a, another uh, undocumented URL. Uh, in this case, the, the image would need to be shared um, for this to work. So. Uh, you might want to stick to the, the download URL method um, uh, just to, to save having to uh, share images. In terms of what making changes to, to our copied um, slide deck, basically we, we pass those in as a, a, a JSON object. So um, it's very much kind of uh, similar to the Sheets um, API in terms of making changes um, to text and cells uh, and properties. Um, so, for example, you, you've got various verbs that you can use. So, um, this one we're uh, replacing all text. 
So here it's just using a search string. So it's looking for our, uh, our mustached uh, name, and it, we're, we're just getting a, a replacing that text. And for the image, uh, we've got uh, the um, uh, passing in the image URL. And this is where um, we're pulling back some of the uh, existing slide information. So we're actually pulling the the size from the rectangle uh, to, to basically resize our image uh, to fit. Uh, and again, any sort of transformation. So if that rectangle was rotated, uh, then we're just using the existing information and passing it um, back in when we're creating our image. And uh, last one is just deleting our rectangle. Um, so that JSON object um, covers everything that we want to do with, with our slide. And so the last step um, is actually to pass those commands in. So uh, if you look at the, in fact, let me just show you, if you look at um, the autocomplete on slides, there's, you know, there, we've, we've not got many methods here. Um, so everything is really handled by, you know, passing in commands by uh, the JSON object. Um, so we're doing a batch update. Um, so the deck ID is just the, the, the presentation ID and then all our requests. So if the demo gods are with me and I hit run, it's all fired off okay. And so if I go into my drive folder, you can see it's now got hello world and uh, it's replaced the image. Easy peasy. Very good. So once you've got your Google now going, you can do that by gestures. <laughs> <laughs> so I, 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 Bruce, as you've um, used the the Sheets API, is, is do you do you recognize some of the ways that you know this you know they're they're structuring the code and the API calls? Yeah, they've pretty much standardized that. And one of the, the key benefits, I think, is this idea of batching. Um, because what it means is that you can do a whole string of things and it does it in the order that you need it to do it in. So rather than um, calling the API, you know, 50 times um, yeah. and then dealing with mistakes and dealing with quotas and everything else, you're making one call with 50 things in the call, um, which is a, a much, much better way of doing it. And that's the uh, the uh, batch updates for that's the latest version of the Sheets API you're referring to. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm conscious that um, uh, for Bruce, it's getting increasingly gloomy. For me, I'm almost Why there. Why is it getting gloomy? For, oh, you mean on my thing? It is, isn't it? I'm <laughs> such, put the light on. Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering um, what you meant by that. <laughs> uh, for Spencer, he's been for me anyway blacked out for the whole show. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I think we might call it a wrap there. And um, thanks, uh, Bruce and uh, Spencer for their bits and pieces. Thanks, Rudy, as well, for coming along and um, your contributions. We'll be back uh, next month. <laughs> anyway, thanks, everyone. We'll catch you next time. Thanks, Bon. Thanks, Petzl. Thanks, Rudy. Bye. Bye.